Okay, I'm going to show a little bit of cutting, I hope. Um, and then after I get done, I'll take apart the cutter and show you all that I did here. Trying to do this through, you can see I'm holding a reading glasses over the lens of the camera and you get a focus very difficult to judge the speed feed with that the feed speed I should say But you can see, if you're careful, this parting tool outfit works. And I know the stuff isn't round. I wonder if that came off. The uh, stock is not in there. Round doesn't have to be. I'm just parting. She got pinched. What happens when it gets uh, with that other cut in there, it's, it, it pinches, it bends easy and pinches about to let go, that's why. This is a grade 8 bolt, so not the easiest thing in the world to part. Stupid camera rig, it's very difficult. There you have it, she's about to let go. So I'm going to quit there. And I'm going to pull this thing apart and show you. I'll be back. Okay, I figured I might as well show you some other features of my lathe that I made. Here's the cam lock thing. It, I, I changed it to lock going that way rather than lock going that way. I prefer this way, but everybody makes theirs go that way, so I made it go that way. So... There's that. This is the, the chunk of the, the guts of how it works. Now, over here, we have, oh, might as well show you this other feature. Bear with me here. Other feature. This is a uh, power So I don't have to unscrew that thing with my hand all the time. Now, I hope this is in focus. I'll take that out first. I'm making these, these are round slugs that are all the same but diameter. They're going to be going in here, one in between each jaw. I got three of them. And then when they when I put them in the jaws like that and tighten it, they will hold a uh, 
they will hold pressure on the jaws so I can grind the jaws. I just realigned everything and my headstock is now on my uh, this thing, Chuck, is now within a thousandth this way, but the jaws are out of line, so I got to regrind those. I put new bearings in, roller bearings, and they're tight, but they are nice. I like them. And I, I modified this Gib system. You'll see my other video. And this guy is solid as a rock. You can't get that to move. So, and she's smooth. So I got this thing working far better than it's ever worked before. Now, this is what I wanted to show you. This is the homemade um, parting tool thingy. Now I'm going to be putting that uh, thing back on there. That lens to show you this but basically that goes in that tightens this is the this is the parting tool right there which is just a piece of uh, I think it's uh, eighth inch thick or I don't know what size it is it's the you buy this little kit full of stuff for $4.99 at Harbor Freight and it's got um, cutting tools that none of them are any good because they're all the wrong size but stuff can be modified so what I did was I drilled a hole through this um, cut tool steel cutting steel with a diamond uh, cutter and put a nut and a bolt in there to hold spacers on it so it can be it can be held in this thing which sits on here like that with the cover on it that I showed you now this is the same thickness now this is much thicker thinner than the tool post and this is way too thick for a, a mini lathe tool post. That's why I had to rig it up like this. So that gets in there and tightened. You can see the cut, the sharpening angle and stuff I put on there, maybe from that distance. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not putting that lens back on right now. But anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. And this Gib system that I did works really well. The only thing now is my half nut is garbage. It literally wore out. It's one of them hook things. And as soon as I get some money, I'm getting a regular half nut rig from a little machine shop. They're not too expensive. I think like maybe $30, $35, something like that. So that's the deal. This is how the new bearings, which wouldn't be surprised if they stopped working, but... For now they work. See if you can read that guy up there. That's my speed. Which is the, the speed things get in there, in that hole. And what I did was I cut a little piece of magnet to fit in the slot of that um, lock nut and align this. This is holding the this screw and this screw are holding the uh, the alignment thing on it so I can set that up. This is a new switch because the old one died that broke junk. This is a new switch which I had to... Um, it was a click on click off and I realized I found out after I burned up my old motherboard that it uh, didn't work correctly. It, it uh, turned on so it was going click 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 and it was resetting and burned up the motherboard so I had to get a new motherboard and then Peter Bush helped me told me I needed a, to unhook that circuit and put a, a momentary button on there to reset it so I have that reset button now um, 
Let's see what else is different on there. I guess that's it for now. There you have it.